city invited our university to come and start in the downtown area to increase cultural awareness, to increase educational attainment, uh, and help the city with economic development. So all of those things are critical to a person's life. So we like to say our university helps the city become a great place to live, to work, to play, and to learn. Our education remains connected to the communities that are around us. That's rule number one. We try to bring expertise that can help the city, the urban uh, environment, uh, make improvements in the areas of transportation flow, in housing, uh, cultural enhancement, uh, education, all of the areas that are important for life, we try to bring experts in those disciplines to help the city enhance in those areas. There's urban studies, global urbanism, urban studies, community development and planning, and then urban studies focusing on spatial planning and GIS, geographic information systems. Sustainable urban development, and then we have an undergraduate degree also in urban design. We are working both in the design aspect of it, in the history of the narrative of the city. We are working with projects that deals with children, with nonprofit organization, with housing, with actually transportation, active transportation. There are a number of projects that our faculty members get involved. One of the more important projects that we do is working with the port, because as cities are located close to industrial and port areas, our students and faculty, and particularly one faculty member whose expertise is in this area, begins to work with this region. Our, and our master's students in community planning last year, they worked with the region in order to reimagine the port area and how it interfaces with the city. So we have a lot of urbanistic projects that deals with different aspects of the city and the quality of life in the city. It's very important for us to continue to develop our cities, uh, to make them very user friendly, and what I mean by that is very uh, friendly to uh, the people that live there, because oftentimes in the past, our cities were not the, the best place to live. Uh, so we, we worked very hard to make them uh, exciting, culturally in, intensive, which means the urbanism, the design, the social life, the history, the narrative of the city actually impacts students as well. Which means that urbanistic styles and the understanding of urbanism impacts how our students experience the city and how they experience the edu their education. Being within the city means they are part of it and therefore they participate actively in shaping it and benefiting from it. That's how urbanism relates to student experience and student life. As we go through the process of moving up in the courses, you go through the lecture courses, then you gradually get to courses in which lectures go lower and the work gets bigger, homeworks become much more complicated, you become to a point where we want to hear your thinking. Our students come to campus for maybe a couple hours and then need to go to jobs. Uh, they need to take care of their families. So we believe that our education has to be made more accessible and more available to the students. So we work really hard to do that. We extend our hours. Uh, we make it available online. Uh, so we work to serve their needs much like the hospitality industry. We are here to serve you. And what kinds of uh, internship programs do, does your university take part? Those are not only the city, but a local hospital, several different organizations. We've signed up with them, and what that means is every semester, they guarantee that they'll have a certain number of internships available for our students, and we guarantee them that will get students into those internship programs. So over time, we always have a guarantee of slots for our students to take an internship. In our university, there are a lot of cultural mass activities. How many of these mass activities are there for you? And in principle, if there are any. I would say, I'm really sorry, but we lack in that. I would say, yes, we lack our campus and our students don't really like to talk to each other. We do have events, um, 
Not so many people come to those. <laughs> so that's sad. But um, it's because we have such a diverse um, area and we don't necessarily have students all exact the same age with all exact the same experience. And there are not so many students my age. What do you like the most in your university? I like the fact that there is one-on-one on, one on one connection with the professor and I love the fact that there is always a way to connect with your professor and to be part of the community and learn more about university. I really liked the story with how strongly it develops образование, в принципе, в таком штате, как Вашингтон, учитывая, что это штат, ну, портовый штат, где рабо огромное количество рабочих наконец-то смогли отправить своих детей учиться в университет. Я хочу сказать, что мне очень понравилась эта встреча, потому что вообще я впервые видел живого американца, даже трех живых американцев, и это очень круто, потому что и люди, видно, образованные, они понимают, собственно, где они работают, они понимают материал, они рассказывают. Это отличная возможность попрактиковать свой английский. Мне понравилось, что студенты и профессора чувствовали себя достаточно свободно, атмосфера была положительной, и вообще было здорово. Uh, so... Welcome, thank you, and good luck.